Good morning. I'd like to thank everyone for being here today. And I am the founder and president of Farm Rescue, Bill Gross. I'm pleased to announce that Farm Rescue is expanding into Iowa. Starting today, any farm families that have experienced a major injury, illness, or natural disaster may apply for free planting and harvesting assistance through Farm Rescue. We do not give money out to farmers. We simply plant or harvest their crops when they have a major injury, illness, or natural disaster. So they may focus on recovery. I founded Farm Rescue because there are fewer family farms, less children on those farms nowadays, and it's harder for neighbors to help one another when an unexpected crisis occurs. People often ask me, what is the best thing about Farm Rescue? The best thing about Farm Rescue is that it has created an avenue for people and businesses to come and help farm families in our region. This is good for rural communities, and also it increases the likelihood of future generations of family farmers. The charitable services that Farm Rescue provides is not a handout. It is a helping hand. The hand that you see on the banners, billboards, and equipment is the compassionate helping hand of our volunteers, sponsors, and elected officials. We have one such elected official here today that has shown great leadership toward uh, helping farm families in Iowa and farm-related issues. Please welcome Iowa Secretary of Agriculture, Bill Northey. Well, thank you, Bill. I'm really excited to, uh, to be able to be here today. Uh, this is a, a great organization. I've been able to watch this organization some as they've done work in, in other states and uh, was looking forward to the day uh, that Farm Rescue would be in Iowa. Uh, very excited about it. As, as any farmer knows or anybody that's uh, close to farmers, you know that there are challenges that happen out there. There certainly are injuries, other health emergencies, other things that can happen. Uh, that, that causes some real challenges. And as a farmer, sometimes you feel very alone out there with some, some great amount of work that needs to be done in the next few weeks or months. Um, and so Farm Rescue can reach out to be able to help those producers, be able to get a crop in the ground, be able to get a crop harvested, and, and therefore create a lot greater opportunity of having another year and maybe many more years, maybe even decades, of that farm family staying on that farm. Uh, so it, uh, it is a, a very much of a community outreach, a larger community, a community from, in some cases, way outside, even outside the state. Some of the volunteers will take their time, their vacation to, uh, to travel to other states to, uh, to help these farm families they have not met before, um, but they know are in crisis um, because of the work Farm Rescue has done uh, to be able to reach out to these families and understand the situation and they're able to help um, and uh, that's something that uh, we in agriculture try to uh, certainly reach out to help others in great need sometimes that's right during our very busiest times and certainly farm families often are able to reach out within their own communities but that's not always possible um, and that's especially where farm rescue comes in so I would certainly encourage those that are interested in supporting Farm Rescue to do that. It takes resources to be able to do this. It takes coordination to be able to make it happen. And I'd also encourage those farmers out there that find themselves in a time of need to, uh, to reach out to Farm Rescue as well because it, uh, it, it isn't always the easiest thing to do. But what you are getting on that phone line when you talk to somebody is somebody who really, really wants to help. Um, and that's what the organization's about. And I look forward to the, to the dynamics that that provides um, within a community, within a family, and that sense of the opportunity to be able to move on past that crisis time uh, because of what Farm Rescue does uh, to reach out to that family. So I'm so excited to uh, have them here in Iowa. Thank you, Bill, and, and the whole organization, everybody that's supporting the organization, and look forward to uh, to you. It's working in Iowa. Thank you. Thank you. 
Now, Farm Rescue could not help these farm families if it wasn't for the volunteers and sponsors of Farm Rescue. Now, we have a few of our volunteers here today that were responsible for locating this equipment here. And I'd like to give some acknowledgement, if you would please stand. We have Jack Lemke, who is an MD-11 captain for UPS Airlines. And we have Jack Rudledge, who is a, uh, he was an instructor for pilots at uh, Delta Airlines and also for uh, firemen in Illinois. And Pete Von Bank, uh, which I uh, don't see right now. Pete Von Bank uh, is right back there. He uh, is our primary uh, uh, driver to move the combines around, and uh, he used to farm, and now he's a farm rescue volunteer. And we have hundreds of other volunteers, but uh, we are very thankful for all our volunteers at Farm Rescue. <laughs> now, Farm Rescue sponsors do more than just talk about quality products and good service. They show their genuine commitment to farm families through their support of Farm Rescue. And we are here today with some of the leading companies in their industry. They are companies that have the foresight, compassion, and generosity to help farm families in their time of need. And Farm Rescue's mission could not be accomplished without the sponsorship of planting equipment and harvesting equipment. There is one sponsor here today that has sponsored all the planting and harvesting equipment since the inception of Farm Rescue seven years ago. And uh, that company is RDO Equipment Company. Their generosity and commitment to helping farm families is truly outstanding. They operate their business with integrity honesty, and a commitment to helping other people. So please welcome Todd Thompson and Mark Kreps of RDO Equipment Company. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you Mark. Thank you, Bill. Good morning, everybody. Uh, you know, first thing is uh, it's been a fantastic opportunity for RDO Com Equipment Company to be part of something great. Everybody wants to be a part of something great. And uh, when Bill came to RDO and talked to the Offit family uh, seven years ago, it was, it was an instantaneous response. It was something that we felt we could conjoin with and create something, help Bill create something that could go far and above our area. And it's, uh, it's a great thing to be expanding into Iowa. I was talking to JR just a few minutes ago and he posed a question that I guess I'd never heard before. He said, uh, I, I'm the general manager of sales for the company. He said, do you realize any additional sales from this? And I looked at him and I said, you know what, I don't know. And in this, in this day and age of uh, accounting for every dollar of expenses and financial uh, responsibilities and everything, we don't keep track of that. Farm Rescue is so far above and beyond any financial reward that it's, it, it's amazing. You know, and to look at all the support, you know, even the, uh, the support of the people that uh, you see around you today and also the, uh, the additional support that you can see of the, uh, the people that contribute on the websites and whatnot, it's, it's so far reaching, it's absolutely amazing. And uh, it's, it's about helping the family farm. It's about contributing to what made this country great. And we're so honored to be a part of that and look forward to for years to come. I just want to add that as exciting as this is for RDO and for Farm Rescue, about seven months ago I had the opportunity with Todd and some other coworkers to sit down with Bill and brainstorm about the future and where this could go. And believe me, this is only the beginning and this is very, very exciting. Thank you. And I might add that if it wasn't for RDO Equipment Company and all our sponsors and volunteers, we would have never been able to help nearly 200 farm families in seven years in North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Montana, and now Iowa. And we're very thankful to be able to do that. Now, Walmart has been a sponsor of Farm Rescue since the inception. They were one of the, the, the first sponsors uh, the first year we had a handful of sponsors. I think it was 10 of them, and Walmart was one of them. 
And Walmart has not only provided financial support to Farm Rescue, their employees are also volunteers of Farm Rescue. Many of them have come out and driven trucks for us or operated equipment or helped in tornado cases, pick up debris. Walmart has been a very integral part in, with Farm Rescue in other states and as they will be in Iowa. So Walmart truly gives back to the communities in which it does business and we are very thankful to partner with Walmart. Please welcome Todd Carr, Marketing Manager of Walmart. Good morning. Thank you uh, for coming on out this uh, chilly and brisk morning. Uh, appreciate everybody's attendance. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Bill Gross, uh, founder of the Farm Rescue uh, Organization, tremendous organization, and a special thank you to the Iowa Secretary of Agriculture, Bill Northey. Thank you for coming on out this, uh, this morning. Uh, as many of you know, Farm Rescue is a nonprofit organization that plants and harvests crops for farm families who have suffered a major injury, natural disaster, or family illness. Walmart was one of the first uh, Farm Rescue supporters when the organization started in 2006, and I'm proud to say we continue to sponsor them uh, in helping local families in need. We welcome them to Iowa. And we look forward to supporting their efforts while, uh, while we can. Uh, the, the work this organization has done is not only inspirational, but it is necessary. Without the help of this organization it's, and its volunteers, many of these families would have lost their farms. As a company, we began in rural communities, and we know how important it is to our customers that we protect and support our family farmers. In fact, Walmart Associates were so passionate about uh, the sponsoring of Farm Rescue that they voted to give $100,000 to the organization through a Walmart associate grant last year. So uh, tremendous job from our associates uh, across the company. Another way we support local farmers is through Walmart's locally grown program, uh, which is an initiative to bring fresh produce to our stores by partnering with local farmers. We are excited to say that our partnerships have been extremely successful uh, throughout the corporation. In 2011, we increased locally grown produce in our stores by nearly 97%. This is a tribute to the strength of small farmers and it highlights the importance of organizations like Farm Rescue to protect them from their unexpected disasters. Farm Rescues gives families a second chance. The, dis the difference it can make and is tremendous. We are excited that we will now be offering support to families in Iowa. So excited that, uh, come on up here. We've got $15,000, Bill, come on up here, that uh, we are gonna to present to Bill and team on top of the sponsorship. And we are going to present, think of it as seed money. We'll get some seeds started. <laughs> With this $15,000 donation, Walmart has given over a quarter of a million dollars to help Farm Rescue over since uh, 2006, I believe, 2006. Congratulations to Bill, this great organization, and to the entire team for all of your achievements. A lot of volunteers. Uh, I think some of y'all are in the pictures on the website. Uh, it just seems like a really, it's families helping families, it feels like. So uh, I couldn't be more excited. Uh, good luck as you enter Iowa. And who knows what the future holds? And uh, how many is that down now? Six states? Uh, five states. Five states down, five states. 45 to go. That's right. <laughs> Thank you all very much. And after the event, I don't know how much time I'll have uh, the rest of the morning, but uh, there is uh, cake and, and or, uh, refreshment inside. So uh, after this uh, celebration, come on in and, and make yourselves at home. But thank you. Now, uh, Walmart is uh, also going to help us raise awareness of Farm Rescue. This combine that you see here is going to go on a, uh, a trip all throughout Iowa. It is going to uh, be at various Walmarts around the state, and there's going to be a contest associated with it. And uh, the contest is where people can go to their local Walmart where they see this combine and they're going to guess the way to the combine. Now there's going to be at each location uh, some things placed in the cab. It could be anything from a pillow to some lead weight. 
but the closest uh, guest to the wait will win a $100 Walmart gift card, and this is Farm Rescue administering this uh, program, not Walmart, but they've graciously allowed us to put the combine on display. Uh, it's going to go from, from here, we're going up to Spencer, and then to Mason City, Cedar Falls, Indianola, Ankeny, uh, it'll go to the uh, Boone, to the Farm Progress Show, and it'll also go to Fort Dodge and Storm Lake. And hopefully by then we'll be ready to start harvesting some corn here or soybeans. And uh, so look for more information on that. We are proud to have Stein Seed as a sponsor of Farm Rescue. Stein Seed is the largest independent seed company in the nation. They are known for their industry-leading soybeans and high-performance corn seed. Please welcome National Sales and Marketing Director David Thompson. Steins. Well, good morning again. My name is David Thompson. I'm here with Stein Seed Company. Uh, we are a independent national seed company uh, headquartered just a few miles west of here, north, just north of Adel, Iowa. Um, uh, we've been familiar with the work of Farm Rescue for a number of years. Uh, their work starting in the Dakotas, moving into Minnesota. Um, but we're especially proud to be here today to announce the partnership that we have in helping uh, them launch their operations right here in our home state of Iowa. Um, we are a working farm operation. Uh, our founder, Harry Stein, says we are a family farm uh, that sells some seed. Um, and so we operate very much that way. We understand the sense of, you know, we love being a part of agriculture. We understand that agriculture is, at its core, about community. Um, and I think that's what's so great about Farm Rescue is it really embodies that sense of community that's been so strong in agriculture for, uh, for so very long. Um, you know, for 150 years, uh, farmers in Iowa have uh, clothed and fed uh, the citizens of this state and um, provided help to them in times of need and I think it's wonderful that we can welcome Farm Rescue as it comes to the state and can uh, begin to help Iowa farmers in their hour of greatest need. Um, so again on behalf of Harry Stein and everyone at Stein Sea Company I want to thank uh, Bill and his entire team. We look forward to working with you for the benefit of uh, farmers in the state of Iowa. Thank you.